The opening reception for the fourth annual America's Horse and Art Exhibit and Sale was a tremendous success. The grand hall inside the American Quarter Horse Hall of Fame and Museum in Amarillo, Texas was standing room only, with more than 300 folks in attendance. Plus, visitors had the chance to meet many of the world-renowned artists, from actor-slash-artist Buck Taylor to this year's signature artist Steve Devenins. Well, when I was asked to do it, I was so proud because the Quarter Horse has been such a big part of my art career. Um, and Craig and I have been friends for 30 years. And I go to their ranch quite a bit for branding or fall work. And uh, I was just thinking about their, their horses and their bloodline. And uh, I'd been riding with Craig on this particular day. And when Ross Middleton talked to me about doing the American icon, well, the icon could have been the cowboy or the horse. But in this case, I thought, what a, what a better combination than to put a great cowboy on a great horse. Of course, Steve is referring to ranching legend Craig Haythorn. His painting, An American Icon, portrays Haythorn and his horse, Playgirl Miss Katie, overlooking cattle in the sand hills of Nebraska. It just says so much about the American Quarter Horse and the Cowboy as partners. This is one of the many stories behind the works of art in this year's show, although one of the artists has a unique source of inspiration, whether it's from his role in the recent feature film Cowboys and Aliens to his classic role in Gunsmoke, fans of Buck Taylor often wonder if the inspiration for his work comes from real-life experiences or from Hollywood. I am so blessed to have some personal experiences going to ranches, you know, like the Sixes and different places and, and get, in, get in on the brandings and all that, but uh, also related to my experiences in movies. Uh, you know, I, I'm in an odd position. I, I've been at the Battle of the Alamo. I've, I've robbed stagecoaches. Indians have chased me. I've chased Indians. Uh, I was at the OK Corral. I, I was in Gettysburg, the Battle of Gettysburg. So I got these, these visual memories of the movie, you know, and uh, what I do is, is a lot of these great Civil War artists, they paint the actual Battle of Gettysburg with what the guys really look like. In my case, I do the movie version. You know, Sam Elliott is General Buford. And, uh, and usually myself if I'm involved because I can I give myself permission to paint me. Whether the inspiration comes from a ranch, the racetrack, or from a film set in Hollywood, the main focus and theme will always be the American Quarter Horse. And as you speak to the artists, they all hold a special place for this amazing breed of horse. Uh, my preference is, you know, their versatility. I mean, they can do just about anything that uh, you want them to do. Uh, their strength, their stamina, uh, their good minds, and uh, actually it's a tool of the trade for the uh, cowboy, and uh, that we, we've drawn to, to, to that. Artistically, they're, they're very athletic and muscular, you, and uh, I just love their overall build. I rope and uh, have been getting into cutting a little bit, and uh, they're just, I just enjoy their, how athletic they are. You know, the American Quarter Horse is, is certainly what I own, what I breed, my wife's a barrel racer, I'm a roper, so team roper, and uh, love the horses. New this year was the creation of the Steel Dust Award, an award given to a participating artist for their outstanding body of work submitted to the show. A panel of judges selected a winner, Don Weller, a watercolorist who became the inaugural Steel Dust Award recipient. <laughs> This year marks the fourth annual America's Horse and Art Exhibit and Sale, and it's definitely picking up steam. This year's show broke reception attendance records, and it's already close to breaking the record of art sales set back in 2009. Don't worry, a number of amazing pieces are still available for purchase online by phone or by email until the show ends in November. If you missed out on the art, you can still purchase a print of Steve Devenin's signature piece, an American icon. The best part, proceeds from the art and print purchases go to the American Quarter Horse Hall of Fame and Museum. I've been to shows all over the country, but this is probably one of the most enjoyable ones. And it, it's a nice show. There's some, there's some nice art here. Well, if you like horses and uh, horse pictures, uh, this will be the one to come to. Every year seems to improve, you know, the, the quality of uh, work that comes in. The artists are, are showing very good, very good uh, show. All, all of y'all that, that love horses and love horse art to come to this fantastic museum, 
see this great art show that's going to be here till November 12th and uh, take time to look at it and see artists that you know and, and, and you see a lot of in the magazines um, and take part in, in this great experience and this great building and the great history of the American Quarter Horse, believe me.